everybody and welcome along. Oh, I've missed you so much. Uh, and I'd, I'd rather have been doing anything, almost anything, than uh, what we have been doing. But we're, we're getting there, slowly but surely. We're taking each day as it comes. The most horrible time was when the men were here doing the fire um, because they forgot to block a pipe in the kitchen. And then when they dropped all the inside of the old chimney lining, it all blew out all over the kitchen and everywhere. Uh, so we just had a covering of black, filthy, sooty, dirty mess all over the kitchen and beyond um, to, to clean up. That We weren't expecting that. It was a mistake on their behalf. However, we've got it cleaned up. We, uh, you know, we've got Edith on the walls and on a cabinet and... Um, Thank you for waiting for me. I, I really thought I could have got on with the live yes, uh, last weekend, but it, it wasn't to be. So I'm here today. Thank you very much for waiting and being so patient with me. Um, hopefully that's, that's anything that will ever concern the lives done and dusted. In the interim, whilst I've been um, not, do, not crafting, I couldn't craft. I didn't have anywhere to craft. <laughs> um, we had things piled up on my craft desk and everything. It was very sad. Um, but I have been able to watch YouTube. <laughs> How many hours can you waste watching YouTube? It's just ridiculous, isn't it? But I, I've been looking for projects to do with the one sheet of 12 by 12s because uh, I think that's quite a nice thing. And we've all got 12 by 12s that we need to use up, etc. And I've... <laughs> I've done terrible things. I've done terrible things since the last time I saw you. I've bought 12 by 12 pads. I'm owning up to it, I have. I've bought 12 by 12 pads. Did I need them? No, no, I didn't. I've been naughty. However, other things that I've purchased and I'd like to show you. Um, this is one of them and it's Fisker's a uh, trimming board, tr paper trimmer, I guess you call it. Um, and I've purchased this and one other thing. This little guillotine. Which way does it work? That way, yeah. Uh, I'm really not familiar with them because I haven't had them very long at all. Um, but I purchased them with the money that you have donated to me through the Buy Me A Coffee. Um, I don't know site thing whatever you call it um quite a lot of you have generously donated me to me a coffee and um i do love coffee i really do um but i haven't spent it all on coffee i have bought this uh, tim holtz tonic guillotine small guillotine and this fiskars uh, 12 inch by 12 inch trimmer and scorer so thank you very very much for that i really do appreciate it i've been wanting these for ages because i think for lives in particular they'll make the job a bit a bit quicker you won't have to wait for me for ages lining up a quilting ruler um, and let's just hope they're as accurate i have tried them i have tried their accuracy and they passed them as paint a lot test so um thank you very very much for everyone who has donated and people do donate to the channel apart from the buy me a coffee um i'm really really grateful to you because as i say i have bought paper pads to my shame i've bought paper pads but wait till you see them they're so beautiful i couldn't you can't be cross at me because they're so beautiful so i'll pop those to one side thank you very very much indeed but whilst perusing uh, YouTube. I don't know if you call it perusing if you're on it for about six hours every night, but um, yeah, <laughs> whilst looking at uh, YouTube for things to do with 12 by 12 pads, I came across um, mini albums. And I'm sure many of you are familiar with mini albums. It's It wasn't something I'm familiar with at all, actually. Um, I, I thought, I don't know what I thought they were, but... Um, I began watching people making mini albums and I loved the exactness. 
Um, any of you that have watched me before know that I'm a bit of an exact freak, really. Um, and <laughs> even my junk journals that I do end up not looking as junky as I'd like in my own mind because they're so blinking exact. Uh, and I can't get past that. You know, I've just had to accept it. That's the way I am. So I thought, well, I'm going to make a mini, a mini album. Um, see what it's like. See if I like it. But, you know, in order to do that, I need to buy <laughs> to buy some 12 by 12 papers. Yeah, I really did. No, I didn't. I did not. <laughs> I've got so many 12 by 12 pads. I could make heaven knows how many of these. But anyway, I bought two. One was this sort of, I think it's called Natural Vibes or something. And it's all Hessian and that sort of thing. And the other was this blue and I bought them from the range they were 2 99 per pad so you know they weren't bank breaking um, but they gave me that feeling of oh I've got some new paper we all know what that's like and also it came into my mind and I hadn't seen anybody do this on YouTube but it came into my mind that some time ago I took a craze on decorating boxes and so as we do well, as Mr. F does, really. He found somebody who was selling a job lot of wooden boxes, r ridiculously cheap. So um, he bought them. I mean, there's loads of them, loads. Uh, and they are upstairs in the <laughs> in our other department. <laughs> um, I'll call it the warehouse. <laughs> And so I thought I would get one of these boxes out, I'd decorate it and then see if I could make a mini journal, mini album, sorry, to fit inside it. So that was my test to myself before uh, before I came on live to say, oh, look, I'm going to make a mini album because I never had before. And in fact, this one in here is the only one I've ever made. But let's have a look at it anyway. See if you like it. See if you want me to show you how how I did it. And, I, you know, I'll do my best to teach you, but I'm learning myself. So anyway, this is the box. I've decorated it with the flowers out of the blue pack. Put a little butterfly there and big butterfly there. And I have done a thing that's called matting and layering. Now, anybody that's made cards, I don't know if Fancy Nancy's on. I know that she um, used to make cards, possibly still does. Um, and I, I, I guess a few of you probably came into paper crafting through the card making route. Uh, so you will be very familiar with what matte and layering is. I didn't, somehow all that card making and everything like that passed me by. Uh, I, I always liked it. I've always loved paper right from being a child. But I don't know, somehow I never got into card making. And so I didn't know what mats and layers were all about. But it seems to me that when people refer to mats and layers, it's like the same shape, but smaller on top of the other one. That's my best description. So I have matted and layered this uh, gold uh, shiny paper with this blue on top. And I've got, a, I've got a punch that punches out these inverted corners, which I really like. Um, can you see them? That sort of shape on the corner, I really like it. Um, so that's that. I went oversized a bit on the bow. I know that. But I was learning. So that that's the box. And I've, I've painted it uh, in gold. And put the papers on all the way around. It's nothing startling. Uh, and then it's got a catch on the front. And you open it up. And the inside is all lined as well with paper. And this is the aforementioned... Um, mini album so I'll show you through it this is the front I didn't have that many of these I cut them out from one of the sheets of paper and there wasn't that many to be had so that's that it's fairly plain but I quite like it and I put some up the spine as well now I used my framers tape uh, we used it on the French fancy folio and I went all round the outside of the cardboard that I was using for the cover. Um, and I've made some 
glaring mistakes in this. I mean, I can see it now, but I, I, you know, I, as I say, it's my first first time. I was learning. So there we are. It's quite a nice paper, this, isn't it? And I've also gone a bit magnet mad. <laughs> so this is on a magnet and it flips out there. And then this is on a magnet and it flips out there. And you can also pull the whole thing out like that. So I'm guessing the idea is that you put a photo there. You know, that, that this is what they call a photo mat. <laughs> it's all new language. And that just clips down there. And then in between the two pages, there is a, um, well, what we'd call a journaling card. But I think they think it's an opportunity to put a photo in. So whatever, whichever way, whatever floats your boat. Uh, and that folds over. This is um, seam binding. Dyed with faded jeans, Tim Holtz faded jeans. Can't get into it. And they open up. And I mean, you could journal on that. There's nothing stopping you journaling on that and put a photo on each side, maybe. I don't know, something like that. Um, and then this is a little card. I've left the. This is the only thing I think I've left blank, and I do think you could journal on that. I've used craft paper because, as I say, I was using my framers tape and I wanted something to go with it, so I used craft paper. Um, and then I punched out a, a border. But the punch that I had was old, and honestly, it was wearing me out having to push down on it. So um, it's not ideal, and this is something else that I have bought with the buy me a coffee. It's a, a oh, <laughs> I've just been using it this morning. Uh, it's a new pretty border edger stamp punchy thing and it's great. I can use it. So that's that page. Then this one goes like that and like that. This one goes like that and like that. And see. And it's also got a thing in there. Folds over to there. Um, this is just I think I'll, I think I will cut those corners off as well I think it would look better like that so it's got these two cards in here and what they're doing really is holding this down and this is just a little pocket so that folds down they, they pop into there just to hold that flap in place and then this one it's got a magnet on it and it folds up folds up folds up folds down Lots of room for photos in there. And that all folds up and clicks into place and it's got a little card there. Uh, this one, these are just facing, so I thought I'd just do them the same. Nothing fancy, they just open up, but nice place for journaling or photos, I guess. And then this is the back page, which is a tummy tuck. And it's got, I can't remember what I did. Oh yeah, that just flips up. That's it, so it's nothing really ultra fancy on that one there. So that's that's it, back page, back page, which are mat, matted and layered, is that the right expression? Matt and layered. Uh, the, the gold card onto there with some paper. So that's it. It's, you know, if you knew how long that had taken me. <laughs> it took me mind you, I was only able to do little bits at a time, so... So I thought that if it was for photographs, I'd have a look for some photographs that um, that I've got that are just in a drawer. They're actually in a drawer in the bedroom and I never, ever look at them because um, they're all a bit of a mess, really, and they're all mixed up year-wise and whatever. So this morning I went through some photographs, not all the photographs, um, and I've selected some just to see what, they're gonna, what they would possybably look like in here. So, roll call? Roll call yeah. You do that, do you think? Yeah. Uh, bear with. Uh, right, here with Terry. Hi, Terry. 
Deborah. Hello, Deborah. Kiyong. Hiya, Kiyong. Roz. Hello, Roz. Benice. Hello, Benice. Kerry. Hiya, Kerry. Violet. Hi, Violet. Leslie. Hi, Leslie. Janya. Hiya, Janya. Vicky. Hi, Vicky. Jen. Hello, Jen. Shaz. Hi, Shaz. Leanne. Hi, Leanne. Mike. Hi, Mike. Michelle. Hello, Michelle. Julie. Hello, Julie. Connie. Hi, uh, Connie. Lorna. Hi, Lorna. Candice. Hello, Candice. I've missed your shout out. Well, I'm a bit worried now that I know Julie's on because I believe I have never seen one of Julie's mini albums, but I can see the way about that she journals that her mini albums must be a treat to behold because she's a very, um, she's very exact, very precise. And I ju I'm just sure that her mini, mini albums must be beautiful. Um, but you've got to start somewhere, so I'm starting. Hi, Pat. Hi, Pat. And hi, Janya again. She hello. She missed herself. You missed it? Mm. Janya, hello, darling. How are you doing? It's nice to have you with us, and I'm glad you're not up in the air somewhere and you can sit down and watch this. You might not enjoy it. But you will watch it. <laughs> That's an order. <laughs> That's an order. So, right, I'll go through the photographs with you first. Um, I hope you don't find this too boring. Right, I don't know. Do you want, Can you get in any closer, Mr F? Uh, probably. Because otherwise I'm just showing them figures in the distance. Gor in gorillas the in the mist. Gorillas in the mist. <laughs> Well, some of them are a bit like that. Yeah, no. <laughs> you don't. Wee. Wrong way. That's better. That's great. Marvellous. Right, okay. This is me, Fiona. <laughs> <laughs> and this is, this is bog standard for me. I think my mum had a bit of a fetish about tartan. Because I seem to... I can always remember wearing tartan and any photos I've got pretty much I'm wearing tartan. Um, so that's me sitting on a pile of logs and I don't know what would it be, three, four, something like that. Um, and that's Mr. F looked at that and he said, that's that look that you gave when you're saying what? <laughs> <laughs> what? So uh, here's my dad, so much younger. And he was an AA patrol man, and this is when he got his minivan. When he first started, uh, he had a motorcycle, an AA motorcycle, and then he got this mini minivan, and oh, we had to build a garage and everything for it. Um, but I'm just looking at this, and I can still see he's got sort of plus fours on. So I'm thinking that that must be a throwback to the... This is probably when the minivan was really new. And this is my sister here with a water pistol by the looks. And me here, I don't know, we must have just got water pistols or something. We look quite pleased with ourselves. Um, this is me. <laughs> I don't look very happy there either. Tartan skirt on, yeah, tartan blanket, good heavens. Uh, this I found and I really like it. It's um, my baby weight card. So it's born on the 24th of the 3rd, 60. And this is, blimey, I gained weight really, really quickly. <laughs> Some things don't change. Um, I just thought that was a really sweet thing. And I really don't want it to get lost. So uh, I think it would be nice in a little album. This, that's my sister and our friend. And me, with my arms folded. <laughs> and a tartan skirt on. Um, so jumping forward many years... Uh, this is me and my mum admiring my uh, hanging basket. Um, me and my dad. Both my mum and my dad are now uh, no longer with us. Um, and this is my mum and myself at Chatsworth House. It's a big stately home where the um, Duke of Devonshire lives, although it's not in Devon. It's actually in Derbyshire, which is many miles north. Um, so, yeah, that was before the horrors of the weight gain, I think. And here's mum and dad at Chatsworth. This is a house I used to live in in Cambridgeshire when I worked uh, down there. And, yeah, the weight gain started. Look at it. 
This is my mum's house and this is um, Mr F's and my dog, Solo. Such a beautiful girl. Um, so yeah, that's, that's that. I'm starting to get podgy. Uh, and that's mum and dad. Just starting to look old, really. Just just beginning to, to look, dad in particular, look his age. Uh, yeah, that's me. Getting podgy. <laughs> now here's a picture of my mum. And she was particularly proud that day because she'd been awarded a medal for long, uh, long voluntary service. Uh, because every year... For 40 years, she had um, gone round every house in the valley. And that, that doesn't sound like much, but the valley was, well, steep for one thing and spread out over about, I don't know, what would you say, 12 miles, something like that. And she used to do that on a bike and go out to all the outlying farms and rattle her poppy tin at them. Um, and so that was a very proud day. Here's me as a baba. <laughs> Is that the same photograph I kicked off with? It looks like it. Me going wild. Yeah, here's me. Look at that look. With my arms folded. It's such a little girl to have my arms folded. <laughs> um, sorry if I'm boring you with, the, with these. That's myself and my sister. Tartan Trues. Come on, Mum. Uh, now this is the only one I can find of my granddad, who was a really um, great influence on my life. He was a great outdoorsman. He fished, he hunted, he shot, he was a gamekeeper. He really was a, a true outdoorsman. And I loved being around him. Um, I was devastated when he died. I was about uh, 12 when he died and it was very sad. Uh, this is my mum with her hands in the kitchen sink. <laughs> just typical, that's just so typical. It looks like we've had Christmas dinner or something. There's so many dishes around. Um, yeah, you've se have you seen that one? I think so. Uh, this is much, much latterly. That's my brother-in-law, my sister, me, Mr F, and mum and dad. Dad looks thoroughly miserable. <laughs> Um, oh, there's the minivan again and I'm driving it. I love this photo because really occasionally, if Dad was in a particularly good mood, he would sit you on his knee and let you, well, pretend drive the minivan. Um, and my mum would be shouting at him, what would the A man, what would the A say if they knew you were letting that child drive them? <laughs> well, I wasn't, I, I, you know, but anyway. That's that. That brings back that memory. And here's me and my sister. Um, I don't know what she's reading. Uh, sitting on a huge pile of logs. Because we lived in the middle of a massive forest. Um, the largest forest in Europe, in actual fact. Man-made. Uh, and this is me with my bike. Look at that for a bike for a child. Right, it's, a, it's a monster. But I absolutely adored it. Um... Yeah, I did. And this is me and my sister, tartan skirt on again. And my auntie had been and she'd given us these masks. And we just were frightening everybody. By everybody, I mean my granny, my granddad and my mum and my dad. That was it. Um, but we, I think we wore them for, you know, best part of a week. And I just remember happy times there. So uh, I'm, I like that one. This is a photograph that my mum must have had taken... Uh, at some posh photographers and I've got a lovely dress with smocking on there uh, really red cheeks I guess I was teething um, this is uh, mum and dad uh, when they came down to visit me in Cambridgeshire this is mum and dad at Sandringham mum and dad at Sandringham mum and dad in my garden my garden looks really grand there it was wasn't really, but it looks nice. Uh, this is me in my car that I was so proud of. Up to visit my mum and dad. And this is a really nice one. I love this. That's just how they looked. 
just exactly how they looked. And she was so proud always of her flowers down to the front door. And my mum and me, me and dad, me and mum. It's so typical of my mum actually this. I think it's an azalea or a rhododendron. Oh, you know, that we've got to get that in. I mean, it's not about that. <laughs> but she always wanted some flowers in it. Uh, Dad and me. Mum and me. See, I don't know what. There wasn't always a big poker. Um, my little puppy, Cleo and me. And this one, you will notice, a breakage. <laughs> Look at the little puppy, she's gorgeous. Um, I was playing squash and I ran into the corner of the court and banged my head and I heard a crack and I thought, oh, I've broken my skull. And I lifted my arm up to feel my skull and when I looked down, my arm was still dangling by the side of me. So uh, I realised then actually I'd broken my arm and it was a spiral fracture, I broke it in three places. Um, but I just thought it was lovely of the dog. Um, Mum and Dad, I think that's Chatsworth again. And Chatsworth again, and Chatsworth again. And Chatsworth again. Gosh, I've looked at loads at Chatsworth. Um, where was that? I don't know. It's a nice one of Dad anyway. Uh, this is Mum and me. We were having a picnic. I remember that day, it was a lovely day actually. Uh, Mum and Dad. And this is Mum in Stratford-on-Avon outside William Shakespeare's house, I think. And this was out at Stratford as well, and this was Anne Hathaway, uh, her cottage. Some cottage, I'll tell you. That's just a particularly nice picture of Mum. And I also looked these out because they're small. So I thought they might fit in other places. And uh, Mum and me with my car again. So I'm not going to put these in. I'm just um, thinking of places that they could go in here. Um, that one of me where I was really quite young. Would that fit there? No. That one would though. Yeah, if I trimmed some of that white off, that would go there. And that is that is a perfect picture to start this album off with, I would say. I mean, look at that expression. It hasn't changed that much, really, has it? I'm sorry to say. So, yeah, that, that could go there, trimmed down and glued in there. Make a nice start to it. And, you know, as you go through, there's smaller places like that that you could possibly get some of these on with my mum. That would go there, just chop that down a bit. It would look really nice. So that's what I intend to do, I think, with this. Um, so the question is, really, guys, are you interested in watching me make uh, a mini album? Or do you think, no, it's just not really for us? That's the thing. So I'll let you have a think about it while Mr F plays you a loop of our decorating. <laughs> yeah, I shall talk through. Start in a okay. Are we pa have we passed the start? No. Nope. No. Nope. Yeah. No. Nope. Once we get past that flower, it's oh, okay. Okay. No. Right. So there you go. You can see the Edith wallpaper on the um, wall, and here that's what we laughingly call the artist's cabinet, and Mr. F painted it and decorated it with Edith. There's the blooming new fire. Honestly, what a performance. Um, I mean, it looks nicer than the other one, definitely, but look at the job Mr. F did on that. It's fabulous, isn't it? I, it's really lovely. I love it. And the lilies that he bought me as well. 
So that's it. I think we're back to the start, aren't we? Yep. All up to date. So that's... <laughs> there is more. We have done more than that. <laughs> but I didn't think you needed to see a cream wall. And the curtains aren't up yet. And oh, there's still loads to do. So what do people see? Sounds like a fun project. Beautiful wallpaper. Well, it's Edith. Why would it not be beautiful? It's gorgeous. Great job, guys. Thanks, Kerry. Thanks, Jen. He's really, he, he is very talented. Wallpaper is beyond. Thanks, Connie. Thanks, Shea Marie. <laughs> Thank you, Mike. Yeah, it's, uh, it's just re a really nice thing to look at. I really like it. And the TV stand, which is kind of in the corner there, it will also get that treatment, the same cream and Edith treatment, because we have a whole roll left over. And, you know, I could craft with it till the cows come home, but a whole roll, it's quite a lot. It may appear in future kits. Make fabulous journal covers. Right, so did anybody decide whether they wanted to know how to make a... A mini album or not? Did anybody say? Jim said she hoped it was going to go up on the wall behind you. No. <laughs> I don't think so. I don't know. We haven't discussed that. I can't discuss my crafting area at the moment. <laughs> I'm still in shock over everything else, um, and I, I, I can't. I can't be doing with moving things around at the moment. Maybe in the fullness of. Um, Terry, yes, yes, we did. I'm very interesting, says Ros. I know you're interesting, Ros. <laughs> a very interesting woman. Uh, yes, I would. I did. Yes, and yes, please. Love the mini album. Please make the album. Interested. Okay. All right. Well, I'll... yes to the album. Jania, you know you're going to watch it and you're going to want to make it. <laughs> Because <laughs> you admitted to me last night that you watch loads of stuff on YouTube and you want to make them all. <laughs> and I am exactly the same. I know exactly where you're coming from, hence this. Right, so let, let's put this back in the box and I'll show you what I have done so far. Because I was hoping that... See, I made a mistake here. Here's a mistake. This paper's going this way and then this I cut the wrong way. And I didn't have another piece to do it in. so, And there are other mistakes in there too. But, you know, I'll live with them. I've got no choice. I don't really want to throw it on the fire. So I'm living with it. So that's that. Let's put that to one side. And bring on the papers that I've bought. Uh, yeah, you've got to have the accessory pack as well right Hi, oh fancy nancy hello confused about the time never mind never mind you're here that's all that matters right so this is a, a graphic 45 graphic 45 paper pack and it's the 12 by 12s two sheets of stickers, an 8x8, eight eight, and um, what do they call this? Journaling cards set. So you could be forgiven for thinking that I'm going to be making a journal that's big. <laughs> no, <laughs> but I do love the paper. And I, I really don't want this to be a one and done, as Jen would call it. Um, I, I, I mean, it's got blue tits in it. I mean, come on. <laughs> How was I ever going to say no to it? So, let's have a look. Let's have a look through this. This is a new release, I think, by Graphic 45. Linda says, once again, your nails are beautiful. Oh, thank you. I'll, I'll tell you something I've learned about nail varnish. Uh, and Jen said, did you make it to fit the box or did it just happen to fit the box? I made it to fit the box. <laughs> How clever am I? <laughs> <laughs> um, but I did have a nasty moment at the end um, because I had the box in two halves for ease of painting it and stuff. Um, and then when I put it in, I, I thought it wasn't going to fit. 
just for one moment because it was taller than the, the base. Then I remembered there was a bit of a recess in the top. So yeah, it does fit. There's not masses of room, but it's a six by six album, that one. Says she, like, you know, all cool. Six by six album. Mm -hmm. Right, so these are the stickers. Quite nice, aren't they, really? Nancy says Mr. Waltzer sends his regards. Oh, hello. Hello, Mr. Waltzer, how are you doing? How do you put up with that fancy Nancy then? Hey? Eh? <laughs> Same way as Mr. F puts up with me, I guess. A lot of not listening. <laughs> Um, can I just say that today actually in the UK is a very sad day. It is the funeral of Prince Philip, Duke of Edinburgh, Queen's husband. Um, he was 99 and so it was, I guess, un you know, not unexpected. But, uh, I don't know, it's still a very sad occasion and I feel so desperately sorry for the Queen, who's very elderly herself. Um... And so I was watching that before I came on, on the live. So, yeah, I'm sure we all feel uh, sa sadness about that in, in this country. So, anyway, let's get back to the stickers. So, yeah, for the love of birds, a little bird told me. Really pretty shaped ones. Freeze bird. Bird watcher with blue tits on. I mean, that just sold it to me. And, uh, yeah, all, all sorts that really could come in useful. But let's have a look at the actual papers. Let's just get rid of this cellophane somewhere. So have you noticed that I now do not have a big cutting board? I now have my table. And that's because of the generosity of you buying me my trimmer and my guillotine um that i don't actually need to be cutting and if i do i've got this little portable one it's great isn't it? i feel quite free actually right anyway so this is the front cover it's called bird watcher um and it's very nice paper very nice i'm just wondering if you could cut that out and use it but maybe i could certainly cut that out and on the back, they kindly give you um, how to make a tag. I think we've, I think we've cracked that one. I think we have actually cracked that one. This might be upside down. I think so. Right. So that's a nice background paper. But look at that. How stunning is that? Look at the frieze of eggs across the top, and these three stamps here with the blue tit. Um, continue off for a minute so you can see the oh goodbye bye, bye yeah. everyone yeah. still here <laughs> um, yeah I mean I love the flowers and I love the birds so you get two sheets of each in this pack 12 by 12 um, so you can use that and you can use that because they are very complimentary are they not uh, then this which I love and how well does it go with that Somebody's thought about this, I tell you. And look at that. This is a kit, just honestly made in heaven for me. I, I love it. Um, then this, which makes fabulous borders. Says she, like she's done it before. Ha! Ah, it will make fabulous borders of about an inch width if you cut them like that. And on the back, we've got one of these. Now, I think these are called cutter parts. I'm, as I keep telling you, I'm not awfully familiar with the the language, the lingo of this. But, you know, you can cut each one out and you've got a little card or a topper or topper. <laughs> uh, and that's the same page. And look at this. Blue ticking. Come on. One of my favourites. I love ticking. Love it. And on the back, there's this monotone uh, bird, and I, I really love that too, actually. So, because you're getting two sheets, you know, there's plenty, plenty of scope. And I'm hoping that I don't feel, yikes, I can't cut into that. Um, because that, you know, 
that would defeat the object of the exercise. Look at that. It's gorgeous. It's it's really gorgeous. So, and, and that background page. Look at that for a background page with the feathers on. And it's got text in the back as well. Just perfect. And that's the... Uh, back of that sheet really like that you could if you wanted to cut them cut these out the secret to life is to enjoy the passage of time uh, robins appear when loved ones are near i know a lot of people feel that actually they they i don't know about in the states um but it, certainly here in this country if you've lost someone and a little robin appears i think sometimes you feel that they've come to visit um, some people feel like that with butterflies, I, I know. Um, birds of a feather flock together. A little bird told me. So you could cut out lots of text out of there if you wanted to. You could if you wanted, fussy cut the bird and put it in with it. Whatever. There's plenty of scope. Plenty. Um, this one, that's my least favourite. Not awfully keen on that. But look on the back. Look at all these stamps. There's not a way in... Not a way <laughs> that you could ever use all those stamps in one project, is there? Well, if you think you could, have another sheet. I mean, these really need cut out and put in a little box um, for when they may be needed. Because I think, you know, many a project would be helped with the addition of a little birdie stamp. Hello to Noella from Australia. Oh, hi Noella. Must be funny time of day and night or... Uh, yeah. Must have been in the middle of the night, wasn't it? Head back to bed, girl. Um, and this with the binoculars on because the collection's called Birdwatcher. I love that green. It's really nice. And on the back of there we've got these big cards which you could use just to pop into pockets or whatever as we normally do or you could use to put onto a page to indicate to somebody, put a photograph here. You know, that's for a, a photograph. I'm not, you know, up to speed with all of this uh, malarkey yet, but I'm, I'm liking it. I like, I love the exactness of it. And then the the eight by eight is the same, but on a smaller scale. Fancy opening it at that page. Look at all the blue tits. Yay! <gasps> Uh, and then this, which I haven't opened at all, and um, I think it might just be more of the um, cutter part. Oh no, I think, I think it might be different. Oh, Ooh, that's nice, isn't it? Saw. Not saw in an ouch that hurts way. Saw in a fly high way. <laughs> I can hear the dog snoring from here. As soon as I leave my seat, he's in like Flint. He's up on it. And he gets himself so comfortable and he's snoring his head off. So if you don't hear him uh, barking, that's why. It's because he's, uh, he's in cloud cuckoo land. Birds of a feather. I forgot to look on the other side of these. Whatever it was, I don't know. All that. Flock together. Birds of a feather flock together. That's surely for journaling, isn't it? Free as a bird. Mm -hmm. So yeah, there's loads. And I really like that one that says so. Because it's green. And then you get these big chunky monkeys. These really are quite large, actually. Robins appear when loved ones are near. Little bird told me. So there's two of those. If you want to fly, give up all that weighs you down. That is so true, is it not? It's not always easy to give up all that weighs you down, but blame me, that is that is a good little thing to say. It says postcard on the back, very nice. Freeze a bird. A little bird told me. I like these. I hope. Oh, more stamps. That's a relief, isn't it? Because <laughs> we could have run out. <laughs> <laughs> These are a bit bigger, um, just in case you want a variation in size. Noella says it's 1.42. No, Noella. She's just been watching the funeral. Ah, right. 
Um, yeah, so there's, there's loads of, I mean, there's more of these. Surely than anybody could. Sometimes you just have to look up. Yeah, sometimes you do. I quite like some of these sentiments. I think they're uh, very usable. And they're not all frilly or anything. A little bird told me. Yeah, I like those and I hope that I can make use of some of them. But with having the 12 by 12 pad and the 8 by 8, <coughs> there's definitely more than one um, one and done. Uh, as I say, as Jen would say in there. So put them away. I don't want to get them messed up. Right. Now then. I, I've made a start on the next one because um, is, what is the kit again? It's called Bird Watcher by Graphic 45 um, and I, I bought this on Amazon but they're available on eBay and various other various other places right I've put this together because I didn't think I didn't think he'd be that interested if I'm honest. I thought he'd be going, What is this woman on about? You know, we really want to do junk journals. Um so I thought, well I'll put it together first. And I've used um Put you back on. Oh Mike misses you. Hello. Hi Mike. <laughs> Don't get cross, Jen, I wouldn't I'm only fooling. Um yeah, I want to use black as the background colour for my um, papers because I think it will set them off nicely. And, if I'm honest with you, it's the only thing I've got enough card of. So it'll look like that with a little narrow border around it. Like that. And I think that'll look quite nice. I did have a look and see if I had enough blue I thought I might have, but I didn't. Um, but anyway, I'm glad that that happened. I'm glad I'm using black because I have purchased this tape and I purchased it from this shop in the UK, an online shop called My Creative Spirit. Let me show you. My Creative Spirit. Um, and they're just mycreativespirit.co.uk. They do ship internationally. I checked with Claire who owns it um, and it is their signature black construction tape. She assures me it has been tested and tested and been applied to various things, put in hot places like on top of radiators, put in the freezer, all sorts of things and it hasn't failed. So if that's what she's telling me I have no reason to doubt the woman, she's a very nice woman. But it makes um, it, I've used it here instead of the framers tape that I used on the little one and it, it's quick, it's quick as anything. So um, if, I, if I do another one, if you, if you like this and you want me to do another one, I'll show you how to make this up um, or I can show you tomorrow if you want, show you how to make it up and then you can get going if you want to because it's really, it's quick and easy. Right, there also seems to be, it's, I think, I'm just going to have a little drink. By watching the many hours of YouTube videos, some, um, oh, it's not an argument about put, how to put your uh, pages in. Some people like this, some people like that, whatever. I just thought I'd go for the easiest way possible and it seems that that the way, the easiest way I could find this should be another piece. See how organised I was? I got everything cut out and everything because I thought that you'd be going, oh no. Um, it's to just cut your page out half an inch longer than you want it to be fold it over, put double sided on it and then you stick them all on your spine like that and stick the next one up, put it up to it like that. Now I don't know if that's a good way to do it or not because like I say 
I haven't done very many. I've done one. I've done one. <coughs> and I haven't forgotten to do that. Don't worry. But these are the pages anyway that are going to go in there. And um, so we're ready for that when we come to that. But first thing I want to do is put a pocket there in black and a pocket there in black. <coughs> and I think I have to stay away from the spine just to make it easier for it to open and close because the more bulk same with a junk journal more bulk you have really close to the spine the more difficult it is to to use it open it open it up so i have made i'll show you the paper i'm using but you do not need to use this this is just the black that i had no not a craft lounge please um this paper, black, black, uh, and it's by Fabriano and it costs a fortune. So don't even think about buying it. It's just not necessary. Um, I bought it to watercolour on. Pastel, it, isn't it? Past, no, not pastel. It's too smooth. Watercolour, I think. I'm pretty sure I bought it to watercolour because I bought those metallic watercolours. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Uh, it's 300 g um grams per meter squared so it's it's quite it's quite heavy it's heavier than i wanted it to be to be honest my new trimmer is struggling cutting it because it's so thick um etc etc so i wouldn't necessarily use this again but i had it and it has a black core which means when you cut it or crease it or whatever um there's no white coming through there's no white on the edge. So that's good. Right. Here's where it all might start getting a little bit woolly. Because I don't know what I'm doing. Before that, I'll just show you the box. I quite like this idea of having boxes to put your, your albums in. And as I say, I've got the boxes, so why not use them? So here's this box here. It measures more than that uh, measures about nine and three quarters I'd say and on the inside it measures uh, nine and an eighth I don't, know, I don't know if it's square yeah no it's a bit less no it's nine and eighth nine and eighth square inside and oh I can show you on here it's um this has just been painted, it was a horrible, I think they call them, I don't know what they call them, but it, it had like been stained in some horrible, horrible brown. Blech. So this is a product called Multi-Stop that you just paint on it and it, it stops all that brownness escaping onto your glue and paper, etc, etc. So, you know, this isn't the finished thing. I just want you to know that. Um, but maybe we could use the brown, the black tape. Maybe we could. It's got a little catch at the front and it's got uh, two hinges at the back. And I have got some really fancy feet. If I, if I get a, a mini album that looks really nice, I'll put the fancy feet on it. <laughs> but, um, you know, I'm not there yet. And this one as well is probably going to be more of a, of a practice, I would say. I won't put the black tape on that yet. I don't feel confident enough to tell you the truth. Um, maybe tomorrow. Right, so what I have done is I have cut two pockets to go on the front and back cover, on the inside of the front and back cover. Julie, look away because you're just going to have a heart attack. Um, and I have use my new buy me a coffee border punch to to make that isn't that pretty it's so pretty i love it so i want to do the same thing let me give you some measurements 
of the whole entire shebang. Then we'll know where we're at. So this front cover measures eight and a quarter by eight and a quarter. The spine measures uh, two by eight and a quarter. Back cover measures eight and a quarter by eight and a quarter. Right, which I thought would be quite good seeing as I've got eight by eight papers. That would just leave me a little margin around. That's my thinking. That's my thinking. That's all I'm saying. So I'm not going to decorate the front today. I might do the back, but I'm not going to decorate the front because I don't want it getting all mashed up. Um, and you know, when you when you're doing things, then this gets caught on stuff, and I don't want that. So I'm just leaving it blank as it is. So these I have cut at. I don't know. I can't remember. I think I've cut them too short anyway, but never mind, we'll make we'll make use of them. I have cut them at nine, nine inches. And I've folded over creased and folded over half an inch on each side and half an inch on the bottom. And that's gonna go I didn't tell you how deep this was. Um it's four was four and a half and I've done the border punch on the top. So that's gonna go there like that. So I can leave a little eighth of an inch there and then I've I've got a quarter of an inch between the edge of this and the spine. A sort of um it's got a name, gutter. It's French groove. French groove, the French groove. I'm in the groove. <laughs> I should have got a Parisian kit. Then we'd have been in the French groove. That's true. Yeah. Well I could get one. No. No. Well, it could be insane. <laughs> insane, we're insane enough. So I'm just going to do what I normally do for any of the, the journals that we made. Just cut this off into the corner. I don't know why, but I'm quite nervous about this. I think it's because I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> that always helps, doesn't it? Right, so that goes in last, so don't lose perspective on what you're doing, just think about it. So, I'm going to use, this is the other thing that I've discovered, that um, mini album makers use double-sided tape like it's going out of fashion. I, I can't believe it, I can't believe how much they use. I mean, when we make journals, we glue everything, and then we, you know, we cuss and swear about how the I do I'm not suggesting for a moment that any of you swear um, that the glue won't come out the bottle and blah blah none of that with this mini album malarkey they use double sided so when in Rome that's what I say so if I can find my double sided oh it's here which was provided for me courtesy of Fancy Nancy I'm just going to double side everything, double, double, double side everything, yeah. So I want to put it on these edges first. I should have left nicking that out till after, but never mind. So I'm going to bring that down under that fancy border that I did, because otherwise you'll see it through it. I guess you could put glue on as well if you were so minded, um, which I'm not. And, and that's the other thing that I will say. I think that these are probably quite expensive to make because, for one thing, the, the papers aren't cheap um, and the double-sided isn't cheap. Um, yeah, magnets. Magnets aren't cheap. So, yeah, I think that it's probably uh, a bit of an expensive do and I have no idea about selling them I haven't even looked on Etsy to see if people sell them I'm pretty sure they will but I'm, I, I question whether they get the money back or I mean maybe they do I don't know uh, so I just want to pick out the that bottom bit there and this bottom bit here uh, Jenny says she cusses a lot <laughs> dear Jenny especially when she can't find a pencil 
Oh. He's got something crooked. Oh. Well, that's not new, is it? We all blinking lose everything all the time. So I'm just sticking that uh, bottom piece over the two edge pieces. And then I'm going to stick my double-sided on it. See, I'm not even proficient with double-sided. I mean, you watch these women and, God, they just go wham, 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 and it's uh, the double-sided everything. Everything in the world, it would appear. So I want that down under that, like that. But I guess it's familiarity, isn't it? You know, the more you do it, the better you get. That's the theory. So the other thing that I see people do is they take the tape off part way, position it, and then take the rest of the tape off. Quite like that idea, I must be honest, because I'm not trusting myself to eyeball anything. So I'm just going to make sure that this tape is on here properly. And this beautiful, beautiful Teflon bone folder that Fancy bought me. Oh, it's a world changer, Nancy. World changer. So let's take this off. If you're taking the bottom off, should you not be lining the top up? I should, but I've already taken that off. I want to get the bottom square along there. Whereas I don't have anything to square the top up to. I want to get the bottom square. Do you know what I mean? Mm. No? Yeah, are you taking part of the bottom off, are you? No. Because if you take all of it off, then the other two bits are irrelevant. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, I'll take them off. I'll take the lot off. <laughs> Let's just do it, eh? Have a blinking management meeting for which bits of tape to take off. <laughs> right, this spine cover that I've got here, should have done this before I took that off, but never mind, um, measures just like of eight inches, and I mean just a hair's breadth. I think I was supposed to make it eight inches. So I really could do with lining up this pocket with the bottom of there, couldn't I? But I'm not going to. I'm a rebel already, for heaven's sake. I'm, I just want that to be about an eighth of an inch in from the edge, along the bottom. Hopefully that's, does that look like it's an eighth of an inch up there? Yeah, pretty, pretty good, pretty all right. So there we are. So I've done some. Did you use Tyvek to reinforce the spine? No, I used um, just this. This, um, my Creative Spirit Signature Black Construction Tape. That's all I used and I was assured that it was sufficient. Time will tell. Uh, previously, when I made junk journals, I've used Tyvek to reinforce the spine, definitely. Right, let's put that blade away. Oh, look at my little bin. Look. Do you like it? It's cute, isn't it? Because every time I go and put stuff in the bin, there's always a pile of stuff on the bin. So I move it to one side with my hand to get stuff in the bin, and then I have a crafter launch. Then, you know. So I bought myself a little desk bin. And it's, I don't know if you have these in the States, but this is a little wheelie bin, like we put our big proper rubbish in that the bin men come and take away. So I've got a little one in turquoise, of course. Right, so that's that. I think that's okay. Oh, I don't know if it looks straight. But anyway, it's it's on. You're going to have to bear with me through this one, guys. So we're learning as we go. No doubt there will be many mistakes, but, you know... Right, so let's find some paper that we want to put on there and that we want to put on there. Ah, it might be a little difficult because they're all so nice. <laughs> and of course you want to save these ones, don't you? I like that red one. I like the ticking. Oh, come on. Um, is there another red background somewhere? Yeah, that one. I really like this one. 
I'm thinking there must be no, there's no perforations. So you must just tear it out like that and then cut it. To use that, I've got to sacrifice that. But that's that's the way of the world, isn't it? And that, because I made that pocket at exactly eight inches, this isn't going to go into it. It's going to need, as you can see, just a sliver cut off it. Say night-night to know Oh, night-night. Mm. Sleep tight and thanks for joining us, even for a little while. It's nice to see you. Uh, right, so, yeah. Oh, let's just think about this. Just think about it. I want it to go there, but I need to cut off a little bit down the side. And I'm quite sure that seasoned um, mini album makers don't do this. I'm quite sure it all fits in perfectly. But, you know, I'm, I'm learning. I'm on the hoof. So that's the mark there. So after there, this is the bit I want to cut off. And down here, I mean, I'm not talking about masses here, just a little bit. So that's there and it's down there. Right. So I'm just going to chop my, um, right, you have to excuse, excuse me using this because I'm really not used to using it. Um, and it's a bit of guesswork and I haven't got any paper to guess with, so I really want to get it right. So I'm guessing that if you get that right at the top there, push it that way, it should be okay. Oh, I don't know, it looks like it might need to be a fraction more. Let's try that. Ooh, wasn't bad, was it? That's pretty good. Right, I'm not gonna trim my edges off with that. I'm just gonna use a pair of scissors because we are only talking a tiny little bit. Actually, come to think of it, I didn't need all of this because it's going behind a pocket. So I could have cut it there. So if you're doing this, remember that. So I'm, I'm literally just trimming a weeny little bit off there. And now, I mean, it's all about nothing really. And now I'm hoping that's going to fit in there. No, still no. What's wrong with you? That's the wrong way, sweetie. It's the wrong way? Oh. <laughs> I thought, how can that be? Right, so, yeah, so that goes in there, but I, I just don't need all of this, all of it. I just don't need it. But it does go in there, and it does sit nicely there. Hooray! So I need to cut it off just about an inch beyond those marks I've made. I told you this would be a torturous exercise. I told you, did I not tell you? I don't know what I'm doing. But let's learn along together. So let's cut that. Uh, let's leave about, that's an inch and a quarter. I think that's fine. Sorry, Janie, I know you're not awfully fond of that sound. It'll keep you awake. <laughs> the deck ledge one. The deck ledge one, yeah, but I've got to have it with a deck ledge one. I've gone, and it does make a bit of a noise. Right, I'm just trying this again. Sorry for the repetition. But you know. Right, that fit in there before, so I reckon it's got to fit in there again. Get in. Thank you. And you, sir. I will practice before I see you tomorrow. So as I'm at slightly less caggy handed okay that went in there before now it won't go in so what's the what's the story jack and ori you're pushing one side in too far before you try and put the other in uh, okay so put it in square 
Ah, uh, no. No, it's catching on something. Maybe it's my deckle edge. I don't know. That, that is most definitely capturing something. But I have no idea what. If I'm not careful, I'm going to end up tearing it. And that's really not what I want to do. Right, come on, in you go. It's great for a great life, this, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, I don't know what's going on there. Maybe I just need to trim it a little bit more just to facilitate my life. And I notice that I've still got a tiny little bit of white there. I'm not awfully happy with so it's got to come off yeah I think I think that will have done the trick so I'm, I'm going to trim that a bit more because it's just it's just oh, it's just all too much I mean, I'm not talking masses here. Teeny tiny amounts. We're going to be lucky if we get through one page, aren't we? But never mind, it doesn't matter. It's the journey. It's the journey we're on. If you could let me know if you want me to show you how to make the, um, the thing, because that I can do. The cover. That thing, the cover. Right, yeah, I mean, that just goes in so much more easily. It's just better. It's just a better bet all round. Okay, so, right, this does have a white core. And I don't know what to do about it particularly. Um, this is me thinking. I thought that I was going to use the Distress Ink because I thought it would match... In, in speckled egg yeah I think I'm still thinking that I think but I just want it on the edge of the paper not not as we would usually distress it I just want it on the edge just so you can't see that white the white edge of the paper Right, now this I am going to glue, because it's the best solution. It's a bit of rough on there, I wonder if that's causing a problem. Could be for all I know. Right, I'm going to use glue and I'm going to use my Collal. Uh, it's my favourite. But the other thing they do is they glue around the edge and then just go like that. So I'm going to give that a go. And they seem to use very little glue. I don't know if our resident um, mini album queen can confirm or deny what I'm saying, Julie. <laughs> right, so that's a bit of glue down there and I'm just putting a bit in the middle like that. Seems that's what they do, that's what I'm going to do. Henry said she can't make tomorrow's live, but she would like to see how the cover's made. All right, my love, that's great. No, Carrie's off to Chester Zoo tomorrow. I've been to Chester Zoo for a while, have we, Dad? <laughs> Sorry, I was looking forward to my dad earlier. Um, Mr F, have we? No. He used to go there a lot. About six years, I think. Six? When we went to Queen's Hill. Did we go to Chester Zoo then? 
Huh? Oh yeah, we went with Van Derek, didn't we? Yeah. Right, hooray, 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 hooray. I've got a piece of paper stuck down. And I'm gonna, because I didn't go mad with the glue on the edges, I'm gonna use this fabulous um, bone folder. You can tell I'm concentrating, can't you? Because I can't get the words out. Um, and the other thing about Kalal is that with a, a glue rubber, it does come off, which is quite handy with black because black shows up everything. Right, so we've, we've done something. We have achieved something. Hooray. Let me just get a throat lozenge and a drink. And what do you know? I'll be back with you in a minute. <laughs> no, I'm fine. I'm just thirsty. That was all. So right, I wanted to select a paper that's going to go on there. Before I do, before I do do that, <laughs> do do. <laughs> I don't know why. I said that. That's so funny. <coughs> I don't know why I find that so funny, but I do. Uh, I'm thinking about how I'm going to embellish the um this because i could put plainish paper on it and really bejizzle the life out of it with with all this a little bird told me where's that oh that's nice that, that's nice there for the birds i like that might be a little bit small for that where's my bag of stuff here this one see this I just love it. You just know, don't you? That's the, that's my favourite. So, would that fit on there or not? Oh, no, not really. I need a landscape one, is what I need. So let's see what I've got in the world of landscapes. You're going to get fed up going through these. I want a green one if I can find... Ah, look there, for the birds. That's nice. I am determined to keep these nice by putting them away. And I'd quite like that there. And I might put some, you know, another sticker or something over it. Because um, I've got them. And if I don't use them, what's the point in buying them, really, pretty much? Uh, so, yes, I like that. But it it has got this pretend sort of dark mount on it, but it's not black. And so I want to um, put a, a black, a proper black mount on it. So I think the thing to do probably is put it onto a piece of black, get two sides right, and then cut the other two off. So I've got, I've got it on a nice little mount, so it'll stand out from the paper, which I haven't yet selected, incidentally. <laughs> oh, it's a bit back to front, isn't it? But who cares, eh? I mean, we I reckon that we join each other here on a Saturday and Sunday. More for the community spirit than anything. And I'm really hoping, as I'm saying that, that that is the case. Because if you've tuned in today to learn, you might learn something. <laughs> but equally, you might not. But it's nice. It's nice that we all get together. And, you know, I'm sure I'm not the only one who's missing Jean today. She's in my thoughts almost constantly. And I'm not lying when I say that. I really hope that her, husband, um, her husband's health improves. Uh, she's a worry. You know, she's a worry to me at the moment. So I'm just going to wipe off any bits where there's lots of glue that's going to squish out because I don't want that um, it doesn't have to be the right way up but I'll turn it the right way up so I'm just going to give this a little bit of a black border around it try and get it equal on all sides press that down oh, I was going for one bit of glue and I managed to drop another bit on it but I'll get that when it dries and I'm just going to press that down So this is kind of jumping the gun, really. We're making the top bit for... Oh, Mr. F, thank you so much. He's brought me a coffee. 
You will welcome. I don't know if I trust myself enough to do this on the old guillotine yet. Shall I have a go? Why not? What's the worst thing that can happen? The very worst thing that can happen is I waste this. No, the worst thing is you chop your thumb off. Quite. So I'm going to say about there. Have I got that firmly up to the top? Oh my goodness, what sort of, sort of idiot am I? Well, that's not bad. It's just a bit wide, but it's not bad. Doesn't look very straight either, but you know. And this one. I don't know how you get the hang of this. I'm sure you're not born with a knowing how to use this. <laughs> Let's try. Should I try there? Oh, I think that might be too close. <laughs> it's like a donkey's hind leg. Oh dear, I think I need to practice with that a bit more. In the interim, I'll get some scissors out, which I'm not very good with either. <laughs> oh, it'll be fine. It'll all be all right in the end. No, I love I love our little family that we've got going on here. I think, you know, we're all precious to each other. And I know I certainly missed you. Well, that's not too bad, is it? Not really. Yeah, I was going to tell you about nail varnish. Somebody said about my nails. The glue, this glue in particular when I use it, it eats your nail varnish. And you can tell because my left hand nail varnish is always sort of eaten up and this right hand is is okay. So good job you shake hands with your right hand. Not that you're shaking hands with anybody at the moment. Right, okay, I'm 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 gonna say yeah that's alright. If I was brave enough I'd just round those corners, but I'm not, so why why worry then? Why worry about it? Um, let's find some paper for that. I've got a little box here going on. I've got all sorts of new things that have happened. See these little like truck things with handles in. I've got I bought three for a quid um, that I'm keeping my remnants in. So I'll need to break out another one in a minute to keep my remnants of this. Uh, yeah, so I'm looking for something, the paper to go in the back of that. Are you all bored yet? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or falling asleep? Sure, hands. <laughs> Giving up on me completely. Yeah, okay. I can understand that. It's not what we normally do, is it? That's quite nice. Would that go there? Is it a bit busy? Would you even see that if it was on it? Oh, let's carry on looking. I'm not familiar with what I've got yet, that's the thing. So, um, mm, mm, mm. the feathers are nice. Just Hi, Eugene, we were just talking about you. Very, very nice to see you. Could I put that on there? Would I get away with that? Is it all too green? Maybe some, Maybe blue would be better. Sorry, I'm so sorry. Uh, have I come to the end of that? Yeah. Huh? Come on, just make a blooming decision. Honestly, I'm driving myself mad. I think I'm going to use a patterned one, one like that. And put that on it. I think there's enough left around it. That we'll get away with it. Right, so in order to leave a border around my pocket, I need to cut it there. And height-wise, I need to cut it there. So let's do that. Let's see if we can do that. If I can, I'll be so greatly relieved. Yeah, the, the next thing is where's your pencil marks? 
Mm -hmm. I don't know. It's there. So I'm going to get that on the edge of the metal bit. That's all it's I can do. Oh, thanks for that, Mr. F. I'm a square now, I'm square now, and I can't get that any further up. That's right through my pencil line. So it must be, it must be. I'm not even going to look yet. Because if it doesn't, I'm going to be so disappointed. <laughs> and there. See, I need a box to pop all these remnants in which I will sort out by tomorrow. And by tomorrow, I'm going to be whizzy whizzy, okay? I'm going to be really, really quick. You won't know what's hit you. Look at that. It's pretty not bad. Needs another little bit of the height. Apart from that, that's pretty good. I mean, I only made two cuts and one was wrong, but <laughs> apart from that, it's pretty good. I think that's enough of the height. Let's have a look and see. Right, so that's going to go there. Charlene says hi. Hi, Charlene. Thanks for joining. She says she's been watching your older videos. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. And? <laughs> uh, I just love Miss P channels. Such an awesome channel. Uh, desperately need a Mr. F in my life. <laughs> I'm not getting mine. <laughs> so that's going to go there. That's going to go there. Should I put that on dimensional tape, do you think? Just to elevate it. We've never done that before. Let, let's get this inked and stuck down. Flushed with success. This uh, ink goes much better with this paper. I must say. Yeah, the um, the shop that I was telling you about with the black tape, My Creative Spirit, um, it's a lady called Claire and she's really nice. And um, if you have a look on YouTube, she's got some YouTube vids out there. And I know that, like me, you're always looking for somebody new to have a look at. Um, but go and have a look at her channel. You'll see her talking about the black signature tape uh, that she uses. And you will see how to put it on. <laughs> so then you'll see tomorrow how I should be putting it on. That looks nice, doesn't it? Don't you think, Mr. I think it's very pretty. It's very pretty. Uh, Jenny says she's been watching older ones as well. Oh, no. She liked the Boho Journal. Oh, uh, the Boho Journal. Was that a ring-bound one? Uh, yes, it was, I believe. Well, we did two. We did a ring-bound one, then we did a folio, an altered file folder, a boho one. Yeah. We did two. But uh, some of you may have been watching during this lacuna in my lives, etc., that uh, I've been putting out, the first week, certainly, I was putting out videos of the kit that um, I was selling. And, and I still have some of those for sale in the, in my Etsy shop. I've got about three, I think, still remaining. Um, oh, that was a close call. I nearly rocked the table a bit too much there. But um, I'm, I'm doing a series of videos using everything, pretty much everything, that's in the kit. And you can follow along. You do need to provide your own uh, paper pad because it, it would just have made the kit too expensive and too heavy. Um, but the kit's for sale. It's got Edith Holden postcard, Edith Holden um, wallpaper border, this border here. Come on, Edith, don't be awkward. Uh, which is just beautiful, isn't it? It's really lovely. Um, it's got book pages, doily, uh, vellum, laces, ribbons. It's got loads in it. 
Say bye to Jean, she's got to go. Oh, Jean, thanks for joining us. You are absolutely on my mind. Um, you really are. Please take care of yourself and I really hope your husband improves soon. Um, yeah, and I'm sure we all feel the same. Uh, yeah, so the kit. So if you want to buy it, it's for sale on my Etsy shop. I am shipping internationally. Um, and then there's a whole series of videos to watch on it. But I'm thinking already ahead to the next sort of kit that I do. And I'm pondering on whether to do a boho one. Because I know a lot of you really like boho. And it doesn't... Um, I don't do too much of it. So that's a, that's a thought for the future, that I, I will do um, a boho kit for sale. And then do the, you know, make it up. It's always something that's lurking at the back of my mind that I should be doing boho. But then I get seduced by blue tits and Edith. <laughs> it doesn't happen. But I think those of you that have received them uh, have been uh, pleased with the contents. Jenny is so excited about Boa, she's grown four hands. <laughs> really? Yeah. She's put four thumbs up. Oh. <laughs> oh, so you like the idea of Boho then. Okay. Well, let's get through the nature one first. Otherwise we'll be doing a bit of this and a bit of that and it's nothing will get finished as is you know what always happens right i've stuck two pieces of paper on and a pocket hooray 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 so i'm sticking this down good and proper now they can see why it took us a fortnight to put a roll of wallpaper up <laughs> I know it's true. There we are. Mr. F did all the wallpapering and he's done a sterling job, I must say. Can I also say that the next time we decorate, we're getting somebody in. Um, this is not, not happening again. Right, so I've got that there, which I really like. Uh, and I'd like just something coming off it, perhaps. Oh, this is just going on forever. Sorry, guys. Bye, Lorna. Bye, Lorna. I didn't even say hi, Lorna. Bye, Lorna. Uh, are these stickers really sticky? Yeah, they are. Because what I was thinking was I'd quite like to put it down onto a, a black mount again. Uh, let, let's try it and see. Worst thing that can happen is I waste the sticker. So let's stick that onto there. I'm liking this black mount idea a lot. Stick that onto there. I'm going to use my scissors this time. <gasps> You'll be glad to know we might get finished this side of Christmas. So I don't know what uh, state you're in in the US regarding COVID, if you're in any sort of lockdown or whatever. Um, we've just last Monday came out of our third, I don't know how many lockdowns we've had, quite a few um, but now the hairdressers are open the manicurist is open the charity shops are open and the charity shops and Mr F went round the charity shops on Wednesday, Wednesday. he left his post as cabinet painter in chief uh, and went round the charity shops and he found me a fabulous bird book I think it's a set it's got the same illustrations in as the one I used before for something I can't remember what um, and he he also brought home a very strange book apparently the books were three for a pound and he could only find two that he thought were suitable for me for journaling uh, and so he brought home this other book I think I'll get it for you. apparently to sell right he said he'd looked it up on ebay and they were going for 17 quid or something and so he bought it in this three for a pound thing and 
is bought it to sell, right? Oh, craft a launch outside. Yeah, so the I'm thinking these are the same illustrations as that other book that I had, but it's a different book. It's a different format, bigger book. So they're brilliant illustrations, aren't they? Really, really, really nice. Oh, look at that. Linnet. Mm. Yeah, I, re I really like these. It's a fabulous book to chop up. Um, so there we are. So he got that for 30p. 33p. Uh, and he got this book, which is... Um, it's an every man's English dictionary. But the interesting thing about it is that the plate in the front, it's a prize for Form 4 awarded to A. Charlton by the headmaster. And it's the school that I went to. The Grammar School of Queen Elizabeth, and that's the school I went to. So he bought that because, because of that. But actually, the pages in it are lovely as well. So I might just pull that apart. And then this book, see what we make of this. You see that? <laughs> I'm not going to open it because there are many more pictures akin to this one on the front. He tells me he's going to sell it. We'll see, won't we? <laughs> so, yeah, that's uh, Mr. F's shopping expedition. Oh, yeah, and this one. Yeah. Um, Odom's Encyclopedia for Children. Been after one of these for a while, actually, because an old one. Because the pages are big, for one thing. And just some of the the text and the illustrations, they're just really, really gorgeous. I mean, look at that map. Pretty noella has gone, isn't it? Because there's Australia. And things have changed, especially the terminology, I think, that we use. Um, this here says Aborigine. Well, th that's simply not um, polite nowadays to say that. Um, and everyone has to learn. I'm not sure that this is very up to date. Uh, Navajo woman weaving in New Mexico. Somalian basket maker. I mean, they're really nice, but actually what they're wearing, I don't think, pounding corn in Nepal, I don't think they wear these this clothing anymore. So it makes it very interesting, actually. Um, I just saw passing by Gypsy Tinker. That's also um, not very polite at all. But look at that picture, just the first picture. It's just beautiful. I really love this book. Very, very nice. Well done, Mr. F. Thank goodness the charity shops are open. Right, what I'm reaching for here is my um, crocodile. And I'm going to set it on the biggest one. And I'm going to try and knock these corners out. Using that. Yeah, that's all right. I can cut off those, those bits. I'm staggering myself that I'm brave enough to even do this. I just thought of it. Can you feel the tension? Yeah, that's that'll be all right. I'll knock those little bits off and we'll be fine. I have to come in from that side. Yeah, I think I think I think we'll do. I'll get organised for tomorrow. Really organised. Because I, I was getting organised today, but then it was Prince Philip's funeral, so that set me back a bit. Because I had to watch that. Bye, Bernice. Have a nice lunch. Oh, bye, Bernice. Thanks for joining us. Sorry, it's been a bit... Um, mm. Right, so I'm going to put that there and that there. But I'm going to lift that up and put it on um, dimensional tape, I think. So let's just get this put on. Uh, Double-sided or glue? Glue, because it's not actually a construction piece, is it? It's just... It's 
sort of tempting to go everywhere because that's ordinarily what I do. But they do seem to think it's not not worth doing that. So I'm just going to knock the excess off. Oh, that's upside down. That's not what I want. And I want it sort of central, but well over this side. That's nearer the bottom, but that's okay. Let's just have a look at that before I make my final stick. Yeah, I think that's all right. Oh, it's moved it. Yep, nice, 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 nice. So this I want to put on, but I want it there. Mm, I don't know how to do this. I'm going to have to look this up, guys, <laughs> to do it. Um, I might have to put two pieces on here and one on here just to lift it. Let's try it. I mean, what's what's going to happen? I keep saying this. I'm going to cry if anything does happen. You realise that. So I've got this dimensional tape that Fancy gave me. Fancy sent me loads of tape. So much you won't believe it. And now it's absolutely really coming into its own. Oh, I'm going to go all the way across with that piece. Yeah. This makes sense in my head. Not saying it makes sense in the real world. There we go. Right, so, so this is the side that I want. Maybe I should have um, burnished that down first, but never mind. Right, so let's just check again, because you know what I'm like. Right, it's, it's, <laughs> it's this side that I want double on. So let's start from there. This might not be the way you do this, incidentally. I just thought of it. Thought it might work. Right, let's just press that down and get this off. I should have a blunt scalpel that I use for this because all I'm doing here is gunking up my good blade. So when I come to use it for something like cutting, it, it won't. I think that's all right, actually. Right, let's stick this on about there. Or down there. Or there. Down there, I think. Yeah, I think that's all right. I think that's okay. Right, that's it. I'm, I'm calling it a day at that. I think I've made you struggle through quite enough. But you can see we're, we're, get, we're getting going. We're getting going. And by the time we've finished this, we'll all be blooming experts. <laughs> or not. So thank you ever so much for joining me today. I, I've really appreciated your company. Uh, it's been so nice to to see you there and commenting etc and I hope that some of you at least will consider joining me tomorrow when I really will be more organized I'm not I'm not kidding you I don't like doing things where I really don't know what I'm doing so I'll um I'll have a bit of a plan in mind for tomorrow okay so behave yourselves uh keep Jean in your thoughts and I'll see you tomorrow bye Bye, take care, see you tomorrow, bye!